okay, we're here to do What the Plot. This is Alyssa and Maddie, and uh, let's hop into it. Like, <laughs> Hi, this is What the Plot. I'm Alyssa and this is my temporary guest star, Maddie. She's joining us today as a temporary fill-in for our friend Graham. Uh, we're doing an episode of What the Plot where we talk about the pot, plot of a movie based solely on the trailer with zero other context. Um, so I don't think any of us know anything about this film except for what we're about to see right now, which is our, our first full peek at the trailer itself. And then we're gonna get into what we think the plot might end up being, how the story's gonna go. All right, let's dive into that trailer. Yes. Kajillionaire. Oh, did I not say that? Did we? Did I say Kajillionaire? Now. There's a camera there, there, and there. Most people want to be kajillionaires. That's the dream. That's how they get you hooked. Hooked on sugar, hooked on caffeine. Ha ha ha, cry, cry, cry. Me, I prefer to just skip. So do I. She learned to forge before she learned to write. Oh, actually, that's how she did learn to write. So what do your parents do, hon? Hon, you've never called me that. But you could if it was a job, though, right? addicted to them. They're my parents. In what sense? We split everything three ways. We have since I was little. I don't want to do it that way this time. Don't. So you want us to be false, fake people. We don't make pancakes or wrap up little birthday presents or call you sweetheart or baby. Do a little dance. Alright, initial thoughts. What did you think? I think it looks really interesting. Um in a good Yeah, in a good way. Okay, okay. In a good way. It's um it's very like small town girl, obviously. She was raised by these, her parents. They're not perfect. They're not like the whole teenage thing about, I don't know, like difficult relationship with her yeah, parents yeah. sort of thing. But the, in this case, it's like, oh, they're literally like- they're... Kind of bad people. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell that at the beginning, there's a contentness of like, yeah. oh, this is how it is. This yeah. is how it's always been. Mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. And then it's not until you add in yeah. Jane from Jane the Virgin. Yeah, it's like she <laughs> meets someone along the way that's yeah. like, this isn't right. I see what's going on here. Yeah. You need to get, I need to get, I need to get you out of here. Yeah. Let's go to New York. At first, when they introduce, I don't know that character's name, but Jane. Yeah. Uh, when they introduce her character, she comes in and at first is like, oh, like I love, the Ocean's Eleven movies, and mm -hmm. this is so my thing. Like, she wants oh, to be a part of it. Right. And then, right. but as she starts watching the way they work, then I think she starts kind of manipulating the main female character to be more observant of her parents taking advantage right. of her. Right. And tries to like put a wedge between them. From what we've seen, the main character seems kind of quiet. Yeah. You know, very, she very willing. She seems to willing. think that it's. Like, she didn't really seem okay with it. Yeah. Well, and then she also gets ticky when mm -hmm. the mom says hun or, yeah. or baby or something. Yeah. So like, there's some sort of disconnect for sure. Hun, you've never called me that. But she could if it was a job though, right? I think that she meets this girl and, and she starts to incept the idea into her that, hey, this isn't, it's not that what you're doing is is wrong per se, because I think that she seems to be into the whole scheming thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's more like, you should be getting more out of this yeah. than what they're giving you, because um, you're doing a lot of the heavy lifting. I think what we're gonna see is definitely just the ramp up of her emotion and then hitting a peak yes. because of this other female character. But I suspect the twist at the end is that it's all a manipulation just to take advantage of her. And I think she might end up completely on her own, or she might go back to the parents. Or maybe like, the parents change. It mm. could be that could be that happy ending of that you know sort of in yeah. this genre of oh maybe we should learn to love our daughter more and yeah. like appreciate our daughter for who she is and not just like take advantage of her. Yeah, I think there's a possibility that she breaks off from the parents to go away with the other girl for a bit, and then it turns out that it's really no different, and this other girl is also taking advantage of her, and then at the end she's like kind of deflated, right? Like defeated right. and sad. And yeah 
could either go out on her own or, mm -hmm. or go back to the parents and they've learned their lesson and right. they change. Okay, there's something between the mom and the daughter for sure because they both wear their yeah. hair the same. Yeah. They both kind of talk the same. Yeah. Like if you notice, like they both have like that kind of deep way of talking, like they both kind of for sure are the same. So I, maybe that's a tie-in to their dynamic. I, I do think that it's implied that the character, you're right, like I think the progression of the story is her finding herself and her own yes. personality um, and being like kind of like a blank slate. Mm -hmm. So what is the likelihood of you going to see this movie? I definitely do want to see this. I've, I didn't even hear about this. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I think I'm gonna, gonna check go, it out. I'm gonna check it out. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest, this is like a, if it's on like a streaming platform, I mm -hmm. might throw it on sometime, give it the first, and this is my rule of thumb, like first 10 minutes, see how I'm feeling it. If I'm vibing it, I'll, I'll stick it out. And if I'm yeah. not, then I'll be like, nope, never gonna see the rest of that. Oh if gosh. you were gonna guess what you think the critic score is gonna be from Rotten Tomatoes for this movie, what would you say? Hmm. Hmm. A 78 is coming 78. to, just from critics okay, yeah, and like yeah. just, maybe the critics from this genre specific? I honestly would go not a lot lower, but just a little. Like okay. I'd say maybe like a 73. I do okay. think that the 70 range is probably yeah. the sweet spot, yeah. but I think it's gonna be a toss away. I think it's gonna be like a, hey, this was a cute quirky movie. It's worth giving a one-time watch. This has been another episode of What the Plot. Thank our guest, Maddie, for joining us and make sure to leave her a friendly comment down below if you ever wanna see her again. Um, and we'll see what we could do about that. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having yes. me. And uh, you will have to catch us next time, so please be sure to go subscribe, turn on that bell notification so that you can tune in every Friday when we have a new episode of What the Plot, where we review trailers with zero additional context. Uh, and leave us a comment, let us know if you liked Kajillionaire, what we got right, what we got wrong, how far off we might have been. Uh, and how you'd rate it.